So this is uh, my mini console that I've increased the um, horizontal distance on. It used to be used to have 240 millimeter um, horizontal extrusions. Now it has 350 millimeter, and so I have a larger print surface. I have a nine-inch diameter. Uh, glass uh, plate here that came out of a uh, springform pan. That was a suggestion by Johan Rokol uh, for <clears throat> what he's been using. And um, let's see what else about this. I used the uh, effector uh, and from from the 3DR design that uh, John SL did for the 3DR simple, and I uh, used a, a PrinterBot Ubis hot end with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and then I have a Bowden tube. Oh, and the um, Diagonal rods are uh, from 3D printing I bought uh, 12 inch thick walled carbon fiber rods and then I glued the Traxxas joints on them and that resulted in uh, 340 millimeter diagonal rods. So I gave up some vertical height but I gained uh, a lot of horizontal uh, distance because I found that I was printing things that were wider but not very high and this way I can get as you notice here I'm printing three different parts these are parts for an egg bot there's, a, there's now a design on Thingiverse for a uh, printable uh, egg bot that uh, draws on us curved surface like an egg or a ping pong ball. So I'm printing parts and buying the circuit board and, and uh, I'm going to make the other parts for uh, make my own uh, egg bot, which has been around for several years. Looks like a fun little project. Okay, so I've got an LCD here. It's a 2004. 20 by 04, and it's um, working really well. I used the SD slot here, got an SD card in there, and I'm running it off of that instead of connecting it to my computer. It's, well, this is, sorry about that. So I'm going to turn this, and you can see the whole printer. I got the um, spool holder on top that I got from. Uh, John SL and his design for the 3DR and he pointed out where I could get the spool holders that fit on top. So it's got a frame and a little thing here. So I used the 240 millimeter uh, horizontal pieces and put a frame inside of the frame and brackets and put it on there so it holds there. And then I uh, I'm gonna go around here. All right, sorry. Yes. I got this uh, Greg's weight extruder that I took off my 3DR <laughs> scavenged designs and scavenged parts. The air tripper wasn't working, so now I've got this uh, moving pretty well. It's uh, going on to the second layer now and it's really starting to move faster. I've got the first layer down to uh, slow movements, but now it's uh, moving a lot faster. It's only at uh, 0.59 millimeters high so far. got it uh, 
think it's going at uh, settings in Cura are where I slice it to get the G code. I set it at 80 millimeters per second, I think, and then the travel speed's 150 millimeters a second. So this thing can really move well. So the mini Cossel that I started with is scalable. And um, you can modify, once you have it, you can modify and use a different extruder, you can change the effector, do lots of things. Okay, that's an update on the mini Cossel.